All right, so first we're gonna take this uh, discharge line off. I'm gonna get a new hose and a new fitting because that's stuck on there. This is the governor line. So we're gonna take this off here. And drain your coolant down to a certain point here. This has got coolant in it. I have some plugs, I can plug these. These are probably uh, SAE 45. I use JSE plugs for these hoses. And um, this is your intake hose coming right off the intake. So I wanna get that off of there. Now there's another coolant hose. And then we got, uh, looks like an oil line here. And then we got the mounting bolts. This is a single piston compressor on a uh, C15 Caterpillar. Got a coolant drain on the lower radiator hose. Crack that open. I get about five gallons in there, and I'll take these uh, coolant hoses off. I'm gonna take this breather out of my way because it's. Not too bad to do. Just put the zip tie out of here. Get that clean pull off the top there. I can get this pipe out of my way. I'm gonna replace this hose here because it's hard as a rock. So we'll just replace it while I'm in here. And then I got these bolts here, it's a three-quarter inch. I got one on the bottom there. I'm gonna get with a socket wrench and then all right, there's the there's the inside bolt back in there. Get a wrench on that thing. Probably gonna end up changing or swapping over this gear. And then all these fittings. So I need to take those out. We gotta replace this fitting in here and get a new discharge hose. Luckily, this one only goes over to here. So that's pretty sweet. Let me just change that out. And then we get a new seal for this. Kinda looks like that timing sensor there is bad. Or maybe the O-ring's just leaking on it. It's leaking down everywhere. All right, so here's our new compressor. We got some fittings to swap over here. Coolant fitting, put new O-rings on these, our intake fitting, oil fittings, you got discharge fittings. This is gonna go down to the governor. So I'm gonna swap those all over. Uh, we got the same gear on here. Got a O-ring on here. Everything cleaned up. A new cam sensor on there. fittings with a with a lock nut that are o-ring back the nut the boy off and then orient your fitting completely and then tighten the nut up that's how I do it I'm just changing this governor out next these two lines on the side line on the front here two bolts Mounting bolts, you're gonna have some plugs. Just make sure you orient everything back in the same position. And it's pretty simple because this is real easy to get to. It's on the side of the frame here. So that's real nice. Governor will come with some plugs. Use this governor as a reference. Plugs there, fittings on the back side. And then I just use my thread sealer. On the fittings, I'm gonna swap over here. Gotta keep track of how long it takes to build air pressure from zero. 
Make sure our cutout and cut-in pressures are right. Take it for a drive, check for coolant leaks. Oil leaks and make sure everything is good. Cutout pressure is supposed to be around 125 psi, and it's supposed to cut in at 100, around 100. So it's building there. I'm happy with that. And now, what's making me really happy is that. No air noise. No air. No air coming out of the crankcase. So that's that was our main concern. So that's fixed. I gotta just tighten up this clamp on the breather tube, and this will be good to go. I'm gonna test drive it.